He started today. Finland scored at the 152 mark of the first period. Well, Finland had planned to play very cautiously at the start, very defensively, and suddenly they found themselves with a one-goal lead as the puck came out in front of the net, and uh, Suminen backhanded it between Barron's legs for the first goal. That's the way the first period ended, and Phil Ricotta was able to score for the U.S. in the second period. Well, here's a good look at some of the goaltending. There's a great save right there by Taco off uh, Gary Sampson. The rebound comes right out to Ricotta. Notice Taco has not quite got himself set yet, and by the time he does, Ricotta is already in, and he just blasts it right by Taco, so that gave the, the U.S. an opportunity there to, to get back in the game and tie it at one. Now watch Brook. He's a very talented offensive-type defenseman, and he carries the puck in. By carrying it in, he forces this other defenseman to force, to force him, and he makes the drop pass to Bukestead, and there you see the shot by Bukestead, top corner. That was a real pretty goal. That made the score 2-1, to one, but the Finns countered quickly here, Kenneth, the 13-51 mark tying the game. This was also on a power play, and after working the puck around the U.S. zone for most of two minutes, the shot came from the point and was tipped in in front of the net by Skriko. Even though officially the goal was given to Leto, it was deflected in front of the net by number 14 there, Skriko. Time remaining, 45 seconds. The teams will be skating in full strength in another five seconds as front shot goes in! was able to skid her free and into the net. So the American team with just 38 seconds remaining in the game take the lead 3-2. And it's surprising only in as much as Taco had played brilliantly to this point. Not the type of goal you'd expect him to give up here. Not at all. He's made a lot more difficult saves than that. I'm afraid he was probably looking at the clock, thinking of the end of the game. Bob Rook's shot just sneaks through his legs to give the U.S. the 3-2 to two lead. Here we see it again. Defenseman backing off a little bit, but that really wasn't the, the, the case. Or there wasn't really the problem on the play. It was Taco's play, and this time he couldn't make it. So that's the only goal here in the third period as the United States now leads by a score of three to two. Still each team with a man in the penalty box for the next three seconds. And then they'll play the final 35 seconds at full strength. Assuming there are no more penalties. Both men vacate the penalty box. And uh, the Finns, in fact, send Paco to the bench to get the extra skater out onto the ice. And Butelas skates in with it. He leaves it, and they score! Melometsa scores after the drop pass just like that with 21 seconds remaining in the game. He beats Barron. I think we'll see on the replay that Melometsa's shot was deflected in front. I don't know whether it went off of Finn or whether it went off the U.S. defenseman, but it certainly changed direction on Mark Barron. There's Utila dropping the puck back to Melometsa. His shot is tipped. I think it was tipped by a Finnish player. So Barron is beaten. Another look here. You see Mark Barron moving to his right and then trying very quickly to go back to his left. Not quite being uh, able to. Officially, the goal is being credited to Melometsa. But as has often happened, during this two weeks, the uh, goals are are uh, miscredited and often changed. Now we have 13 seconds remaining in the game. Mark Busto slides it along to Brook as the Finns put the pressure on the Kalamata again back in the net, but the Americans start back the other way, up the head to Olchek, and the shot comes in, but it's cleared away by Tonto, and that'll do it. So it was a scoreless... 19 minutes plus in the third period and then just like that the American team scores to make it 3-2 but before they can savor the moment back come the Finns as they pull the goalie tackle and the game winds up as a 3-3 tie.